you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead, who is very much alive, so go figure. Enjoy! Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Flatliners. This is from Mill Creek Entertainment, and it's directed by Joel Schumacher. Flatliners follows a group of students, five students, that want to push the boundaries of death. They want to know what happens after you die, so they decide to conduct this experiment and basically kill themselves, but not really kill themselves, kind of make themselves dead you know and see what happens and then the rest of the team is supposed to bring them back to life and it works but something happens and something comes back with them from the dead the movie came out in 1990 and I can remember seeing this back then and it always kinda like stuck with me a little bit I remember certain scenes this is the first time in a long time I've rewatched it and I'd say it probably lost a little bit of its um, you know oomph I don't know the word for it but I, I I don't think it's as good as I remember it is but I'm glad I watched it more now or I watch it now as an adult because you know I think I could appreciate it more but and, and I didn't I don't find it scary I think when I was younger I found it a little a little scary I wouldn't say it's supposed to kind of be a horror but it's not really you know like I said it's not scary or anything it is a good story and it is a good question you know what happens after we die and whether or not this is what really happens you know who knows <laughs> but uh, yeah this, there there is an all-star cast in here you have Kiefer Sutherland Julia Roberts William Baldwin Oliver Platt and Kevin Bacon and you know they all mesh together very well and uh, you know Kiefer Sutherland is probably one, they, I can't say there's like ones that outshine the others. I mean, Oliver Platt's kind of like a useless person in this movie, I'll be honest. And William Baldwin is close, is close second there. But uh, the other three just are work well together. You know, it's just, uh, it's hard to see, to pick which one I like the most. Especially out of Kiefer and Kevin. And uh, I don't know, I like Kiefer Southern a lot. I like Kevin Bacon a lot. Julia Roberts is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and you know it, it's it's a weird setting too because they don't mention what school they're at, but the the school is very kind of dark and gothic, and almost barbaric. It seems like they're not in the right time. Like all the the equipment is like dusty. The settings are like I said, it's very dark and gothic, and I don't know. It, it almost doesn't even seem like they're in a real world. Who knows? Maybe the the whole thing is you don't know they're dead the whole time I doubt that but like it just seems a little bit too unrealistic in this in this movie for me I, I don't know maybe I'm just looking too far into it but again uh, I'm glad I rewatched it and you know I don't know when I'll watch it again to be honest but it was a good refresher whatever but I will say the transfer was well there were times where it looked nice, you know, it looked like it was like a Blu-ray. And then there were times it just looked like I was watching a VHS. It was kind of weird. And there's no special features on here. There's, there is only subtitles, which I did watch with it. Subtitles are fine. The volume was low. It was very, very low. Uh, I, I don't know why. And again, I say this, when I say that the volume is low on a movie, I always like to say, it could just be my copy, it could be my TV, but I really don't think so because there are some things that can be low in a movie and some things that are, you know, the volume is really high. And I, I had to, to, to like triple the volume on here just to, to be able to hear it right and with captions. So again, the volume, it, it could just be me, but the volume was way too low for this movie, especially with talking. And, uh, you know, I, I thought the picture could have been a lot better too. Like I said, it was some parts were looked really nice and some parts looked like I was watching a VHS. Now it didn't happen a lot, but I did notice it, uh, that it happened. And, and the one thing with the Blu-ray too, it, it took away a little bit. You could see makeup where Kiefer got like a, he was stitching himself up. You could kind of see that that was fake, but you know, that's, what Blu-ray does, it takes away the effects, and you know, back when you watch on VHS, uh, you know, you couldn't see that, and now you can. So that kind of took it away. But um, you know, other than all that, 
movie is is okay you know I mean it's a good movie I, I enjoyed it but again I probably won't watch it again for another bunch of years but whatever um, and the bad thing is too that this is a bare bones edition there's nothing on it like I said no special features which would have been nice not even even a trailer would have been nice nothing there's nothing on here it does come with a blu-ray and a DVD though both locked to region A so only an American player if you have it and I don't know why but for some reason they decided to make this a steelbook I don't know if you could tell that this was a steelbook but and I'm kind of 50 50 with this I do like that it's the a clear cover on here the front nothing special you know it goes with this and then when you open this up like here's here's the front and there's the back and if you see the movie you'll understand what that is and then the inside is is like that but then if you remove the discs there's like an image behind it which I'll show you which is like an artwork from like a scene in the movie which is okay it kind of looks like a you know a comic book or something like that I mean it's it's okay not bad I'm not really like very impressed with this I think it's neat that they wanted to put out a steelbook but I don't know why they went through the trouble to put out a steelbook and then make it so sh such a bare bones edition like uh, you could just get another a different blu-ray blu unless you wanted the steelbook you know so then there's that so there you go there's my review on this uh, like I said probably won't watch this again for a bunch of years but I it does have some rewatchability and there's some movies that I watch that have none to me and this again even if it's going to be like in 20 years i'll still rewatch it that's it, everybody thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below also check out the trailer for this in the description and there'll also be a link below in case you wanted to go and purchase this well, that's it, everybody thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye